Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be looking at my BoxyCharm Premium. Um, so apparently there's some controversy with this one, so I wasn't going to open it because it was like $100, so I was like, I'm going to try and sell it. But apparently people are like, it's cheap, it's weird, so I feel like I'm going to test it out because, you know what, <laughs> I haven't even posted things to sell so why not give it a try to see what people, because sometimes I feel like people just kind of get really offended. Like the company just started, but like obviously like BoxyCharm is one of those companies, like they're marketing, like it's basically a strategy for marketing to get people out there, to get people talking about products. So like, yeah, like products might launch through BoxyCharm. But people are all like mad at BoxyCharm and I'm like, how dare you insult them? They are wonderful. At least I feel. BoxyCharm, I love you. You are my Valentines. <sighs> Getting into this packaging, oh my goodness. People are like, it seems cheap. Yeah, maybe they rush things because like the printing is smeared. It almost feels like, ooh, nice. And then it's kind of like plasticky. So if you're like, ah, getting really into things. I have a cold, so I might not be able to smell because people said it also smelt weird. I like it smells a little perfumey, maybe. It's definitely like a weird gloopy texture. A little slimy. I want to make sure I get some gold. There we go. <laughs> So let's put this on. Where I am. Like, would I spend a hundred dollars on this? Absolutely not. It's like an interesting texture, but that doesn't bother me. I again, I can't really smell that well. In general, I can't smell well. <laughs> um, but maybe like a little weirdness. But like, I don't know. I like tried to look them up because I just saw like on um, one of like the subscription like early reveal websites that I kind of look at. Someone was like talking about it. So I was like, oh, let's see. So I kind of like tried to look online. Like there's like one video kind of on it, but I think it's more like Instagram. People are like, ugh. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna go to my dry, crusty legs. Ugh. You're not so dry and crusty as I thought. But, ooh, go in. I'm putting this on my foot to see. That's right, foot. You get that hundred dollar skincare. I'm not that flexible. <laughs> you gotta be like, look, here's a foot. Sorry for people that have foot issues. But like, I don't see anything wrong with this product. Like, if we're complaining about products being overpriced, like, hello, 
all kind of products out there for like how much things actually cost to make and that like this company is probably just starting out and to use like boxycharm to get like oh my sorry struggling at life to kind of like use boxycharm to kind of get out there like i i don't understand people's issues don't get offended so easily if there's something else that's wrong with this company that I'm not aware of, let me know. I know sometimes people don't really like to put gold on their skin. I can't remember the reason kind of why and whatnot. Um, but whenever you're trying new skincare, like, maybe don't test on your face first. I don't see any like reactions happening and like my skin sometimes is sensitive sometimes it's like try your worst so like do I find it like incredibly moisturizing no does an okay job not worth a hundred dollars but there's a lot of things out there that probably aren't so I feel like I don't I don't understand people's issues <laughs> um so I did kind of for picking my item I did um kind of let them choose for me because there was like a palette and the hair straightener I do kind of have two hair straighteners from Amika from my FabFitFun and as well as like my own kind of I have like the T3 single pass mini straightener so I have a lot of hair straighteners now because I did get the Al Salcha? Salcha? Saying that horribly wrong. Beauty. But I wonder if like it helps to curl your hair. So obviously right now my hair is looking great. So they do have a boxy 25 for 25% off. So, I don't know. I will do another video kind of testing this out. Because it does kind of seem like that little like circular where like I've just kind of seen. I don't think it's this brand. But just kind of seen like YouTube and things like that where people kind of curl their hair at the same time because it's more circle than your squareness. So I'll see if I'm disappointed in that and I should have maybe gone with a palette, but oh, got myself a lot of palettes. Um, so that for American price, um, they said was like $80 for me to find it off of like Amazon. Uh, Canadian Amazon was $164.53, right? My box kind of costed me like 54 because every month I get charged and with exchange rate, it kind of fluctuates. So under $55 for my box, it's paid for by getting a straightener. What I was really excited for was Hourglass's Lush I don't know. I do like Hourglass, I have to say. So, uh, going in. So this is, ah, why is there hair everywhere? So this is um, Dim Infusion. So it's like a coral blush. So I do feel like Hourglass is just kind of like this nice subtle where I feel like you could never do like heavy handed like here. It's me trying like it never like, I don't know. That's what I kind of like with hourglass. Like I feel like you can't really go heavy handed. Like it's just going to give you like a nice natural, right? Cause they do have their kind of like highlight that as you feel just gives you like a natural look. So I was excited for this. I was like, oh, I need to get it for sure, right? And I was going to buy um, one of their palettes 
that was like the hundred and ninety five dollars American uh, Canadian with kind of six. So now I don't have to get that. So that's me saving money is how I'm working that out. So that is fifty two dollars Canadian. I did get glow recipes. Um, ultra fine mist. I have so many misters. I did like do the wrong thing and opened and showed my mother what I got and she was like let's try things and I'm like no so I have kind of gone through some of these items that's why I'm not struggling with the box so it has like a watermelon but like a natural watermelon smell my mom said cucumber obviously we're a great family for smelling things um, but I do think it's like a nice mister. Like it's very soft, right? Like, like true mist. So not bad, right? I think definitely for winter, if your skin gets dry towards your end of your day, a facial mist is some, <laughs> sorry, I am sick right now. <laughs> and dying a little um a facial mist is really nice just to kind of like you can spray over top and it's not going to kind of take off your makeup with things but it's just going to kind of hydrate your skin without kind of making things worse um bum, bum, bum. so you get 75 milliliters with that um and it's 37 dollars Canadian. I'm just struggling at life now. My next item was Tarte's base tape. So, yay! I don't know, like a moisturizer. I just put on blush. What am I doing? It does kind of smell to me like sunscreen. It does kind of feel like a little bit tacky when I'm first putting it on. But like, I think it does a nice job moisturizing. When you're applying concealer, you don't kind of have moisturizers in your skin, kind of under your eyes. So it is good to kind of put a moisturizer on, let it soak into your skin, and then apply a concealer on top. So that will definitely help you not get cakey and grossness so you do get 30 milliliters with this um and it is 39 dollars canadian my last item is from Coors, and this is their water lily body butter i'm not gonna open it um i've gotten them in the past through, I believe, FabFitFun, like, nothing that great. It is $33, but I have a lot of creams on the go that I'm trying not to be wasteful as much as I can, and people will be like, um, look at your closet, you're a contradiction, and, uh, and I say shh to that, um, and all that goodness. Um, so going through, like, my American value for this, going through the items would be three hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents if you don't like the first cream then it's a hundred dollars then like two hundred and nine dollars for like what the thirty two dollars you're paying for like you're still out on top um when i calculate it canadian um i'm looking at three hundred and twenty five dollars and fifty three cents um, if I'm not including the $100 cream, I can't really obviously find that in Canada. So if I were to add it at the American price of like $100, then I'm looking at like $425 for spending $55. Like, I think BoxyCharm is a good value. Like, yeah, they might have one or two products that you don't like, but overall it's like a great deal. So, like, if you like luxury kind of products and you are kind of spending, then it's not bad at all. And then, like, I would even say 
it could be a good one to kind of buy for like your daughter where she can kind of get the makeup you can kind of get some of the skincare because I definitely think with the premium they do kind of offer a little bit more skincare items where then it's like maybe a nicer kind of value for things and I don't think it's badly priced so I don't get why people are hating on BoxyCharm like some products are going to be duds if you don't like it you don't have to buy things I like these products I'm happy I'm keeping my subscription and I can't wait till March for like their Fenty box I am pretty excited for some of those products even though I still fully have like the palette already I'm excited to try their different palettes and I think like it is just a nice like I like BoxyCharm I don't I think if you're going to subscribe to something you like makeup and you want a little bit of good skincare BoxyCharm is really a great value so thanks so much for watching guys I hope you have a great day Bye.